Recently, we've seen a ton of creators making videos about how ChatGPT and AI powered systems will be the end of software engineers. I've read some of the comments about people who are in school for computer science and worrying about whether they should switch majors. And I felt like I needed to step in here and be the voice of reason. For those that don't know me, my name is Sam. I've been coding for over 10 years. I have a master's degree in computer science. First of all, you have to remember that this is a hot topic right now. And a lot of creators are just creating videos to get a lot of views. So I would take these opinions with a grain of salt, including mine. Now, I'm not trying to undermine AI or chat GPT. I know AI is here to stay and honestly, I hope it improves because it's going to make my life and my job a lot easier. I read an article that predicted 99% of software engineers will be replaced within 10 years. And I have to tell you, I'm sorry, I just strongly disagree with that. I don't think it's practical that tech companies are going to be able to integrate AI systems into their software and risk firing all their software engineers. It's just not going to happen. Like I said, guys, I've been doing this for a long time since I've started. People have been saying that we're going to be replaced by by something, whatever the new hot thing is. And you know what? I just let the other people worry about whether we're going to be replaced or not. Just focus on what you have control over. Software engineering is not just about writing code. It's about understanding the business requirements and user needs. This requires an understanding of the industry, the users, the stakeholders involved in the project. When developing a new application or product, it's essential to consider the target audience, their preferences and their requirements. Humans can interact with users. They can gather feedback and make changes to the product based on that feedback. In contrast, an AI system like ChatGPT lacks the ability to fully understand user preferences and adapt to their changing needs over time. And trust me, I've worked with enough customers to know that a lot of the times the customer doesn't even know what they want. There's a lot of back and forth to understand the requirements. You kind of have to dig it out of them and not just at the beginning of the project, but throughout development. And with ChatGPT, I, there's just not enough context there over a few text prompts that you're entering into it. One of the key strengths of human programmers is their ability to think critically and creatively. And while ChatGPT can create code based on existing patterns and structures, and it's very good at it, as I've demonstrated on my previous video, it lacks a lot of the creativity and intuition that humans bring to the table. Programming requires problem solving and the ability to think outside the box, something that ChatGPT and other AI systems have yet to master. All right, I'm bringing it back the question of the day, and that is let me know in the comments whether you agree, disagree that ChatGPT will replace software engineers. I wanna hear what you have to say. Collaboration and teamwork are also essential in software development. And while AI systems like ChatGPT can perform certain tasks, they can not replace the human element of communication, brainstorming and collaboration that is necessary for successful software engineering. And finally, software engineering involves making ethical considerations and moral values. Whether you're creating mobile applications or software for autonomous vehicles, safety and security needs to be taken into account. Where do we draw the line between privacy and security? How intrusive is too intrusive? And while AI systems like ChatGPT can generate code, they can't replace the human ability to, ability to consider ethical implications and make moral judgments because that's a very opinionated subject. There are certain things AI is very good at handling, but there's also a lot of things it's not so great at. Like comedy, for example, a machine is not good at understanding humor or understanding sarcasm. Additionally, ethics, which has a lot of gray area, is not one of its strengths. Like I've mentioned in other videos, ChatGPT is gonna be more like a tool. It's gonna be more like a software engineer's assistant. A lot of the videos I was watching on ChatGPT demos were very basic applications, things that a first or second year university student can build, like, you know, grabbing data from a user, saving it in a database, querying a database, displaying it on the front end. But if you give it something very complex, like, hey, build Uber for me, or, you know, build a ride sharing app for me, it's not just gonna like spit out all the code for that. A lot of chat GPT in these AI systems is knowing what questions to ask. And someone who's not technical or has no experience in system design or software development is not really gonna know what to ask. So anyways, um, this is really my prediction over the next five to 10 years. After 10 years, I feel like that's 
So many things are gonna change and there are so many variables that I can't make a prediction that far out. But really until then, there are, so there are so many other factors and things that can happen other than AI replacing you. I mean, look at like the last year and going into the beginning of 2023, how many massive tech layoffs there have been. Something like 200,000 people that were let go, not all of them were developers, but it just goes to show that your job is never safe anyways. You can get dropped at any time for any reason. So I still believe that computer science and software development is the best career to go into. I think that AI systems will actually generate more jobs than replace. Um, I feel like there will probably be less software engineers that need to work on a specific project. So instead of like 10 developers on a project, we'll now need, we'll now have five that use an AI system. So as we continue to develop AI technology, it's important to remember that these systems are tools to assist human programmers, not replace them. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding.